So my wife and I, we live on something called LSD, <laughs> which is least stressful decision. That's what that is, you get into a stressful thing. And like when I fly and they lose my luggage, inevitably they always lose my luggage. It sucks, as a fat guy, you can't just go buy clothes at the gift shop, right? <laughs> Here's a voucher, go get something to wear. <laughs> Well, can I buy the whole gift shop and someone to sew it all together? <laughs> there, I got 14 armholes sticking out of the shirt. Oh, this looks good. <laughs> Kids falling around trying to tickle in every hole. <laughs> oh, we'll put you up in a hotel. They have nice drapes. I hope they do. Because <laughs> that's all that's going to fit. <laughs> so the LSD is to actually get my luggage and I pack it into a box and I ship it to the hotel and I don't have to worry about anything. I just got my boarding pass, my backpack, boom, I'm on the plane, right? LSD. But I don't have an American name, a legal one, right? So it says Mahmoud Malavi in the boarding pass and all the TSA agents turn into the one big Barney Fife. <laughs> like they figure something out. You're gonna be gone seven days. <laughs> Where's your luggage, boy? Okay, stereotypes, all right. You wanna play along? I'll play along. Where I'm going, I don't need luggage. <laughs> Crazy people. <laughs> that departure board where I was all, all, all the times like, cancel, 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 cancel. <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> it's stressful flying, stressful traveling. Oh my goodness. And then you get on the plane, there's another problem right there. Someone thought it was a good idea to make the aisle way one thigh wide. <laughs> Even all the little people know what I'm talking about, right? If you gotta go sideways to go down an aisle way, it's not an aisle way. It's a thigh way. That's what that is. Come thigh with me. Even the, yeah, the little people are like doing this, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. You know, earrings are getting hung on belt loops. I'm so sorry, just let it go, I'm taking it. <laughs> and then you have the sky priority people. They get to sit first, right there, in the chair. And they get to sit down before anybody else put their luggage on. It's like, oh, I feel so privileged. Oh, this is nice. And then all of a sudden, someone's butt rubs right past their head. <laughs> Hey! That was rude. <laughs> yeah. So then the fat guy, he comes in, right? Where do they put us fat people? In the back of the plane, middle row, that's right. Why? I don't know, maybe it tilts the plane up, make it go faster, I'm not sure. He's a fatty, put him in the back. Put him in the back, he can't do exit row. Mm -mm, no. Why? Wouldn't you want me on the exit row? Really? Let's say the door popped off. I got it! Well, you've got three belt extenders, sir. I know. That's my tether. I'm good! I'll save you, save me. We're good. But you gotta go to the back of the plane. So you just gotta make, just pull it off the band-aid. You know, just, I don't care how many earrings your love handles hit, just rip it and go. <laughs> and everybody in the house is like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> then you get back there and the, and the chair is, the chair is 19 and a half inches wide. I know. Cause my thigh is 19 and a half inches wide. <laughs> And you sit there and you got these things called forklift tines that take your fatness to a whole new level. They're called armrests. <laughs> right, but we know what it is. It just takes your love handles and puts them above your head. <laughs> and you can't breathe. Like, <laughs> and the flight attendant is like, hey, settle down. Let's get you a drink. What would you like? Put your tray down. <laughs> It doesn't go down. <laughs> I'm basically wearing the fellow in front of me. <laughs> How do you not notice my head is on his head? <laughs> and I'm reading his Kindle. <laughs> and he's really, really slow. <laughs> Are you done? And 
thank goodness for the little lady over here. He's like, I need a blind cat. No, no, you don't. You need a friend. I'll tuck you in. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips, and watch my whole special.